On day one, I spawned in as a tiny baby lizard in the savannah. Check me out. I'm a little lizard. I looked around and saw a bunch of other friendly lizards laying in the sun. You must be my family. I only had three hearts since I was still a baby. But as a lizard, I could climb up walls and use my long tongue to hunt insects. Just then, a beetle ran right past me, so I chased after it. I thought it was going to be an easy battle, but the beetle was stronger than it seemed. Ouch! This was a bad idea. I was left on just half a heart. But just then, my dad appeared and killed the beetle, saving me. Kid, you're still small and weak. You need to be more careful. But I want to be as big and strong as you guys. In time, you will. But for now, stay out of trouble. I felt useless after losing to that beetle. I have to get stronger. I got to work, chopping some wood, which I used to make a set of wooden tools. No beetle will mess with me now. With that, I fell asleep after a good first day. On day two, my dad woke me up with a worried look on his face. Quickly, Cilio, wake up. We have to get to work and build a farm. There's been rumors about a huge war breaking out. We need to be ready. Oh, war? I don't have time to explain. Just get to work and don't get into trouble with anyone, especially the snakes. I did as he said and left our home to go and grab some materials. As I left, I saw the other lizards running around in a panic. Something big is going on. I need to be quick. I made my way to a cliff where I gathered as much stone as I could. Using the stone, I crafted myself a set of stone tools. As I continued exploring, I came upon an abandoned village with a big snake statue in the center. This must be where the snakes live. Despite my dad's warnings, I had to investigate. I searched the village and found a farm with a ton of crops. Awesome! This is just what I need! Just then, I heard a hiss coming from behind. So, you're the one who dis- destroyed my village and killed my family. You will pay. No, I I didn't do it. But the snake didn't listen, so I scurried away as fast as I could. Come back here, you filthy lizard. I ran until finally I couldn't see the snake anymore. When I got home, I used the materials I had gathered to build a farm for my family. After that, I went to sleep, knowing that we were all safe. But who could have destroyed that snake village? I woke up on day three to a commotion outside. I hurried outside to see what was going on and saw a giant alpha raptor confront my dad. I've come to claim your little town. From here on out, this is Raptor property. Leave our town now. We don't want your kind here. Huh, <laughs> tell you what. I'll give you a chance to surrender peacefully. Now I'd highly suggest you take that offer. Never! So be it. Let the reptile wars begin. The raptor started attacking my family. Hey, leave us alone. But he didn't listen. One after one, he killed every last lizard with a single hit each. I tried fighting back, but he was way too strong. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A pot-sized lizard trying to take me down? I can crush you like a bug anytime I want. But I like your spirit, kid. You know what? I'm feeling generous today. I'll let you live for the time being. You'll never get away with this! But before I could do anything, the raptor hit me with huge power, launching me far away into a forest. I was all alone with no family left. That evil alpha raptor killed everyone I loved, but I will get my revenge. I will get stronger, learn new powers, and take down that evil raptor for good. On days four and five, I was done being small and weak. It was time to get stronger. I started off by gathering a bunch of wood and other materials for a base. I also found a cave, which I decided decided to explore. It was dark, and it wasn't long before I was surrounded by a horde of zombies. Uh-oh, this isn't good. They started attacking me, so I had no choice but to fight back. I didn't have a lot of health, so I needed to be extra careful. The zombies were fierce, but I was able to get in a few good hits and finally take down the last one. Phew, that was close. I need to be more careful, and I have to become stronger so I can protect myself. I made my way back outside and eventually came across a huge canyon. Lizards like the warm sun so the desert was the perfect place for my new home. I started building my very own base out of wood. This thing is starting to look really cozy. I made it as nice as possible and even added a porch. Feels like home already. I just wish I had someone else here to enjoy it with me. I was exhausted after all that work, so I placed down a bed and called it a day. I woke up on days six through eight to noises outside. I went to check it out and found two turtles storming my house. What are you doing? Leave me alone. Shut it, lizard. The reptile wars have begun. It's time for the turtles to take over. The reptile wars? 
What are you? But before I knew it, the turtles started attacking me. They were slow, but their hits still hurt. Ah, you'll pay for that. I fought them the best I could, but the turtles were surprisingly tough. One of the turtles charged forward and snapped its jaws at my tail, biting off a small part of it. Ouch, my tail. Thankfully, as a lizard, my tail would grow back, so I could afford to lose a tail or two. But I was getting low on health, and I knew it was time to run. I ran as fast as my little lizard legs could manage, and eventually lost a turtle. Phew, that was close. I wonder what they meant by Reptile Wars. And where am I? I found myself lost on days 9 through 11. I looked around and found myself in a jungle biome. Just then, I heard a rattling sound coming from one of the bushes. Hello? Who's there? I tippy-toed closer to where the sound was coming from and saw a little rattlesnake all alone. Huh? Oh no, a lizard, please don't hurt me. Take it easy, why would I hurt you? Well, ever since the reptile war started, all the different reptile species are trying to kill each other. I guess you're not like the other reptiles. Huh, so that's why those turtles attacked me. I wonder what could have caused this war. Huh, <sighs> I wonder that too. So, who are you? And why are you all alone? My name is Slinky and I'm waiting for my parents. They were just here, but they're out fighting in the war today. Are you sure you don't want to join me? It would be a lot safer. Thanks, but I could never imagine and my parents. Fair enough. Well, I'll see you later. I left Slinky and headed back home. Surely the turtles would be gone by now. On my way home, I stumbled upon a small cave with something glistening inside. I took a closer look and realized it was iron. Time for an upgrade. I mined all the iron I could find and headed back home. On days 12 through 15, I arrived back home to see it surrounded by a bunch of turtles. That baby lizard will definitely show up here soon. Keep your eyes peeled, boys. Oh no, how am I ever going to get home now? Just then, I felt a strong surge of energy emanating from where my tail used to be. And suddenly, I grew into an adult lizard. Not only did my tail grow back, but I also gained seven more hearts. All right, I bet I'm strong enough to take on those turtles now. With my newfound strength, I engaged the turtles. There he is, get him, boys. We started fighting. The turtles started using their weight to crush me, but I was quick and agile, darting in and out of their reach slashing with my claws and biting with my teeth. My new strength gave me just enough power to stand my ground, but this was a tough fight. The turtles were relentless, their sharp claws and powerful jaws chipping away at my health. The battle raged on for what felt like hours, but in the end, I landed a final well-placed strike, taking out the last turtle. Yes! Take that, you silly turtles! With the turtles gone, I could finally enter my home again. I got right to work, putting the iron I mined in a furnace. I then headed outside and started working on a farm next to my house. For now, I only have seeds to plant but I will expand this farm and make it awesome. Finally, I surrounded my farm with fencing to keep the crops safe. After that, I headed back inside to check on my iron, which had now smelted. I used the iron to craft myself an iron pickaxe, sword, and axe, and even had some left over to make a pair of iron boots and leggings. It's time to show that alpha raptor who's boss. On days 16 through 19, I decided it was time to hunt down the alpha raptor and get my revenge. On my travels, I came across a familiar jungle. I wonder if Slinky's still here. I headed deeper into the the jungle when I heard a scream. Oh no, Slinky! As I burst into a clearing, I saw the upper raptor towering over Slinky. Stop! Don't you dare hurt my friend! Well, I'll be. If it isn't the little lizard I'll let go, you seem to have stumbled into quite the predicament. I looked around and saw that Slinky's home was completely destroyed and everything was on fire. You killed Slinky's family, didn't you? And what if I did? What are you gonna do about it, little lizard? I couldn't just stand by and watch as the alpha raptor hurt Slinky. I launched myself at the raptor, but he was way too strong. With only a small hit, he batted me several blocks away. There was no point in fighting. I was too weak. Come on, Slinky, let's get out of here. We ran as fast as we possibly could, but the alpha raptor didn't seem to chase after us. We ran until we were hidden and safe. Thanks for saving me, but without my family, I don't know where to go. Follow me. I know a place where we'll be safe. On days 20 through 22, Slinky and I arrived home. I realized that my house was a bit too cramped for the both of us and decided to get to work on a home for Slinky. I built another house opposite of my house, making it similar to mine, but with some small additions to make it feel more like home for Slinky. Thanks, Silio. Please, let me repay you. Follow me. Slinky took me to a village nearby. It was completely abandoned, so the various crops in their farms were up for grabs. Awesome! Thanks, Slinky. While we were busy harvesting the crops, we didn't notice a massive iron golem 
appear behind us before it was too late. Behind you, Silio! Together, Slinky and I sprang into action. We dodged its powerful attacks and struck back with our own, working together to wear it down. After a long battle, I finally dealt the finishing blow, taking down the Iron Golem. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! We make a pretty good team! Agreed. We headed back home with the crops we had gathered, and I started expanding my farm. I expanded the area, adding carrots and potatoes. This should keep us fed. After that, I was completely exhausted, so I made it to my bed and fell into a deep sleep. On the night of day 23, I had a strange nightmare. I found myself standing in the middle of a dusty desert battlefield. I could hear the sounds of battle raging all around me. Suddenly, the Alpha Raptor appeared on the horizon. Well, well, well. If it ain't a little lizard wandering into my neck of the woods, I have to thank you. I heard you took out the turtles for me. Well done. One less reptile in my way. You monster! Why are you doing this? The Reptile Wars? Oh, it's all about power and control, my little friend. You see, I aim to rule over all the reptiles. And the best way to do that is to eliminate all those who oppose me. Oh yeah? Well, I will get stronger, and I will defeat you. Ha! <laughs> You're just a little lizard boy. What do you think you can do? The Alpha Raptor then lunged at me, waking me up from my sleep. So the Reptile Wars are all about the Alpha Raptor's lust for power and control. I have to stop him, no matter the cost. On days 24 through 28, I told Slinky about my nightmare. We can't let him get away with this. We have to stop him once and for all. You're right, and I have just the idea for how we can make a stand. I ventured out to a plains biome to look for sheep. I wandered around for some time until I finally finally found some. You're coming with me. I took them back home and built a pen for them to stay in. Once that was done, I used green dye that I had crafted from cacti to color them green, giving me green wool once I sheared them. I then wandered up a canyon near my base and started working on my biggest project yet, a giant lizard statue. This will give hope to all the victims who have suffered by the hands of the Alpha Raptor and the Reptile Wars. But just as I started working on the statue's torso, I heard a hiss coming from behind me. Hello, little lizard. It's time we snakes ruled over your other puny reptiles. Prepare to suffer. The snakes lunged at me with all their might, but just then, Slinky appeared. Silio, no! Please, don't hurt my kind. I uh, kinda don't have a- Ouch! Choice! Please, Silio, follow me. I couldn't ignore Slinky, so I followed him, running away from the snakes. I know they started it, but they're still my family. I can't let you hurt them. This war is making it hard for us reptiles to get along, huh? But don't worry. I promise not to hurt any more snakes. We hid away, waiting for the snakes to leave our home. On days 29 through 33, the coast was finally clear, and we could come out of hiding. Phew! Let's Let's hope those snakes don't come back anytime soon. Just then, I noticed a cloud of smoke in the distance. Oh no, someone could be in trouble. I should check it out. I headed towards the smoke and came across a tundra biome, but it was completely torn down as a result of the war. I realized that this had been a battlefield. Innocent reptiles are killing each other, all because of the Alpha Raptor's dumb war. Just then, I noticed an injured little lizard approach me. Oh no, you must have been caught in the crossfire of this war. Are you okay? The lizard could barely form a sentence. It was too hurt. I stepped forward to try and aid it, when suddenly I heard a splash coming from behind. What the? Just then, a massive crocodile leapt out of a pond and killed the lizard in a single hit. No! How could you? Well, looky here. If it isn't the little lizard my master's been looking for, I reckon he'll reward me greatly if I bring you back to him. The crocodile charged at me with full force, and I had no choice but to run the other way. He looked incredibly strong, so fighting him was out of the question. He he chased me through the forest, snapping at me occasionally to try to hurt me. I was starting to get ahead, when suddenly I was faced with a massive ravine. Looks like it's the end of the line for you, little lizard. I had nowhere to run, and I was sure that my journey would end here. But just then, I heard a voice coming from below. Shh. Over here. I looked down and saw an elder lizard on a ledge. I knew I had no other option, so I took a leap of faith just as the crocodile was about to reach me and landed on the ledge. Quickly, follow me. I followed the elder lizard into a cave on days 34 through 37. Welcome to my humble abode. I haven't left this place since... Well, since the war started. Anyway, I saw you were in trouble and thought you might need a little help. Yeah, thanks for saving me back there. I would have been toast without you. You could say that 
again, but you can't go out there. It's far too dangerous for a little lizard like you. But I can't stay here. My friend is still at home, and someone has to stop that evil raptor. Well, I could teach you. Uh, no offense, but what could an old elder lizard know about fighting? But before I could say another word, the elder lizard sprang into the air and spewed out a vortex of fire. Whoa, how did you do that? One of my old friends is a dragon. I can teach you, but I warn you, this will be a very hard, long, and tough process. I'll do it! I woke up on days 38 through 41 to the lizard ringing a bell right next to me. Ugh. That's not necessary. It very much is. I've been doing this for an hour now. I followed the elder lizard outside to a field full of cows. All right, kid. Your first task will be to use this lasso to catch some cows and gather them all into the pen over there. You have a minute. I sprang into action and caught the cows as fast as I could. Yeehaw! But no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't do it fast enough. I spent hours honing my skills and getting better until finally I beat the clock. Not bad. Let's continue to the next task. Next, the elder lizard led me to a massive maze. To complete this task, you will have to make it through the maze. But there's a catch. As he said this, a huge work Moscow appeared behind him. Oh, but she'll be chasing you. And he does not like other lizards, so I would not recommend getting stuck. Suddenly, the work Moscow started chasing me into the maze. We ran through the halls of the maze, and it looked like I was getting away. Just then, I took a wrong turn and ran right into a dead end. Uh-oh. The warped Moscow slowly approached me as I desperately tried to find a way out. Take this! I used my sharp claws to hit the Moscow right in its chest, stunning it. I took my chance and ran right past him. Now, where could the exit be? The Moscow was already on my tail, so I had to find my way out quickly. Finally, I saw the exit and made it out just before the Moscow could get a hold of me. Phew! Now, what's next? To complete your training, you must defeat me in a duel. On days 42 through 44, the Elder Lizard gave me my final challenge. But I don't want to hurt you. Oh, I don't think it's me you need to be worried about. The Elder Lizard opened its mouth and used its fire ability on me. Ouch! All right, you're on. We started fighting. The Elder Lizard swiped at me with its sharp claws. And thanks to my training, I was able to dodge all of his attacks. I retaliated by knocking him into a corner and started throwing hit after hit. All right, all right. You beat me. Suddenly, I felt a strong sensation inside me. What's going on? Just then, I grew into a massive lizard and felt stronger than ever. I also gained 10 more hearts. Whoa! And it looks like I can poison enemies just by hitting them now. But when will I be able to shoot fire like you? All in good time, young lizard. You come back when you're ready, and I'll teach you. I thanked the elder lizard for all of his help, and then headed back home, feeling a lot better about myself. On my way, I passed a cave that seemed to lead deep underground. I decided to investigate and followed a path down the cave. It wasn't long before I found a vein of diamonds. Awesome! Just what I needed. I mined it and used the diamonds to craft myself a diamond pickaxe and sword. After that, I returned to the surface. But as I did, I noticed the massive crocodile from before zooming right past me. He didn't seem to spot me though. Uh-oh. I wonder where he's going though. I decided to sneak after him in hopes of finding some clues about the Alpha Raptor. On days 45 through 47, I followed the crocodile to a big mountain. I saw him crawl into his lair, surrounded by hanging cages filled with prisoners of war. Ugh, how can they get away with this? I have to save them. I rushed over to the cages and started breaking the bars. What do you do? The crocodile will be back here any minute now. Don't worry, I'm here to help. I broke down the bar, setting the frogs free. Thank you so much for saving us. I thought we were gardeners. What happened here? How did you all end up like this? The evil raptor and his men have been rounding us up and using us to fight a stupid reptile war. We're amphibians, not reptiles. I don't know why we got dragged into this. They'll pay for what they're doing. Get to safety. I'll deal with the crocodile. I approached the entrance to the crocodile's lair and walked inside. It was one creepy place. I walked through the lair's hallways until finally I arrived at a massive room. But to my surprise, it was completely empty. Ah, oh, the lizard has returned. How kind of you to come straight to me. You won't be leaving here alive. I braced myself for the fight as the crocodile charged at me with all its might. We clashed, and I got in a couple good hits, but the crocodile damaged me even more. He was still too strong for me. With a strong slash, the crocodile knocked me into a wall. Ugh. 
Why are you doing this anyway? The boss will let me rule over all the reptiles together with him. I'll be able to eat as many of you tiny tidbits as I want. The crocodile charged up a finishing blow. But just then, I heard a voice nearby. Hey, stupid, over here. The crocodile turned around and directed its attention to the frog. As it did, I saw the other frog standing by a crack in the wall. Follow us. I ran over to them, and together we escaped to safety. But what about your friend? He sacrificed his life so you could live. You're the only one who can end this. We all believe in you. On days 48 through 51, we arrived back home together with the frogs. Since the frogs were now part of the team, I decided to start working on a house for them too. I built it next to Slinky's house. Thanks, Celio. We're forever grateful. But could we ask you for one more favor? It's dry out here in the desert, and us frogs need water. I'm on it. I headed to a nearby pond and grabbed as much water as I could. After that, I started working on a water tower next to the frog's house. And finished. Thank you so much, Celio. We really owe you one. Finally, I decided it was time to continue working on my statue. This time, I managed to finish the entire torso. Looking good already. On days 52 through 56, I was out exploring when I came across a jungle temple. I decided to investigate and made my way inside. As I took a step forward, I heard a click. And before I knew it, a cage had fallen onto me, trapping me inside. Just then, a group of snakes appeared in front of me. The snakes took me to their headquarters and threw me into a cage that was hanging right over a pit of lava. <laughs> Looks... So like you fell right into our trap. Our lord will be happy to know we trapped you, little lizard. Wait, what? I didn't kill your family! Just then, I noticed that they had forgotten to lock the door. Before they could drop me into the lava, I broke out of the cage and launched into combat with the snakes. I didn't want to fight them, but I had no choice. As I took out snake after snake, all I could think about was Slinky. As I took out the final one, I noticed one last snake standing at the doorway. But it wasn't just any snake. It was Slinky. Silio, you promised that to hurt my family. Slinky, it's not what it seems. But he didn't listen. In a moment of distress, Slinky started fighting me. Stop! You don't understand. I didn't want to hurt him, but I had no choice. In the heat of the moment, I hurt him pretty badly, and he ran away before I could stop him. On days 57 through 62, I decided to confront the snake dad. Lord of the snakes, why did you attack me? You dare come in here and confront me, lizard. The Alpha Raptor told me all about how you killed our fellow snake. I didn't kill your family. The Alpha Raptor did. But the snake leader didn't listen. He lunged at me with full power, and we started battling. The snake lord was so powerful, and his attacks did a ton of damage. But I managed to hold my own. I tried to poison him with my abilities, but he seemed immune. Silly lizard. Don't you know poison doesn't affect us snakes? The fight could have gone either way, but I gave it my all. And finally, I was able to knock him into a corner. The Alpha Raptor is trying to frame me. He's the reason behind this whole war. You can't trust a word he says. Mm. So he orchestrated this whole war, turning all the reptiles against each other for his own gain. The Alpha Raptor must pay. Please, take some of my men with you to aid in your quest. On day 63 through 65, I arrived back home with the other snakes, but Slinky was nowhere to be seen. Poor Slinky. I hope he's okay. I felt so bad about what happened with Slinky, but I tried not to think about it. I got to work, building the snakes their own house to stay in, so they felt welcome at my little village. This base is really starting to look amazing. I felt inspired to add a few more details around my base to really make it feel natural. Thanks. Silio, how can we ever repay you? Just hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you with me on all my other cool adventures. After that, I knew I had to go look for Slinky. I had to make things right. I spent hours looking everywhere, but he was nowhere to be found. I was about to give up, when suddenly, I heard a familiar voice behind me. We meet again, lizard. You! This time, I'm gonna take you down. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I had had enough of him. I charged at the crocodile with everything I had. The fight was intense, and I could feel the crocodile's strength and determination matching my own. Blow after blow was exchanged, and it seemed like either one of us could win. At last, after what seemed like hours of fighting, the crocodile managed to land a crushing blow, knocking me back. Before I could recover, the crocodile had me pinned. The boss is gonna love this. I woke up on day 66 through 69, tied to a table in a dimly lit room. Looks like it's the end of the line for you, lizard. I'll finish you off right here and now. <laughs> but just then, I heard an explosion 
good. Suddenly, Slinky appeared and leaped onto the crocodile's back. Ouch, you little. I managed to break free from the table and seize the opportunity to flee the lair. But we didn't get far before we came upon a ravine with a narrow bridge that was old and worn down. Slinky made it over easily, but because of my large size, I could tell that the bridge could barely hold my weight. I made my way across the bridge as carefully as I could, but just as I was about to make it across, I heard a voice behind me. You can't run forever, little lizard. Time to die. Panic set in, and I started to run across the bridge, causing it to snap under my weight. I fell towards certain death, but at that moment, I shot out my tongue, grabbing onto the other side of the ravine. I swung to the other side, where Slinky was waiting for me, and we took off as fast as we could. You'll regret this. We finally made it home. When I turned to Slinky, I knew I owed him an apology. Slinky, I'm so sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I know. Soon after you left to look for me, I returned home and the other snakes told me all about what happened. I'm so sorry for doubting you, Cilio. With that, we were all back together again, stronger than ever. On day 70 through 73, one of the frogs woke me up in a panic. Cilio, the alpha raptor's here. I hurried outside to see the mutant raptor standing on the opposite side of my village. Been waiting for you, lizard. Did you really think I would find out where you and your little friends are hiding? It's time to finish what I started. You'll have to get through me first. <laughs> you always were a confident one. I'll give you the same offer I gave your family before I kill them. Surrender your village to me, and I'll let you live. Never! I've gotten stronger. It's time you pay for everything you've done. As you Wish. With that, we both charged at each other with everything we had. I felt ready to tear the raptor apart, but I was caught off guard. The alpha raptor was so much more powerful than I thought. It didn't take long before he knocked me back and I was left with just one heart. You can't beat me, lizard. You had a good run, but it's time to end this. I wanted to fight back, but I knew it was impossible. As the alpha raptor approached me, I gathered the last bit of strength I had and ran away. That's right, run! Don't ever come back! Your friends are gonna love what I have in store for them! I wanted to save my friends, but I had to get stronger first. I was all alone again, but I knew just where to go. On day 74 through 78, I arrived at the Elder Lizard's cave, but found that it was completely destroyed. What happened here? The Alpha Raptor is what happened. He destroyed everything I had left. Ugh, he did the same to me. He took my base and is holding my friends hostage. I need your help to get stronger. I don't know, kid. It might be too late now. Please, if you help me reclaim my home, you can stay there with us for as long as you like. Hmm, all right. But we don't have much time. The Elder Lizard started my training right away. This time, the tasks he made me do were even harder. First, I had to complete an obstacle course where I had to use all my abilities to make it through. Next, the Elder Lizard made me do target practice with my tongue. It wasn't long before I got really good at it. Finally, the Elder Lizard told me to follow him to another portal. Enter that portal and you'll find an old friend of mine. You must defeat him in battle. Why should you do? You'll unlock your full potential. Good luck. Without hesitation, I jumped into the portal, ready to face whatever was awaiting me. On day 79 through 82, I woke up in the nether. I had no idea where to go, so I walked around for hours, hoping to find some sign or clue as to where I could find the Elder Lizard's old friend. Just when I was about to give up, I stumbled upon a massive structure in the distance. That has to be it! I approached the building and made my way inside. I finally made it to a huge room, where I was greeted by a massive dragon. Beauty Lizard, what do you want? The Elder Lizard sent me to defeat you. My own relative. He banished me to the nether long ago because I wanted to rule over the reptiles. Finally, I will defeat you and return to the overworld and there's nothing you can do to stop me. We'll see about that. I charged at the dragon and we began to fight in an epic battle. The dragon was powerful and moved with grace, but I was fast and agile. We traded blows, each one more devastating than the last. The dragon used its breath to deal loads of damage, but my poison attack seemed to be effective too. Finally, I saw an opening and struck the dragon with a powerful blow, knocking him into the ground. How can this be? I'm supposed to be the strongest reptile. Oh. Just then, I transformed into a massive blizzard that could breathe fire. On top of that, I also gained 10 more hearts. It's time to put an end to the Alpha Raptor once and for all. I spawned back in the overworld on days 82 through 86 and told the Elder Lizard about my success. So, you finally slayed the dragon. He will not be a threat anymore, thanks to you. It was all thanks to your training. If you want to, you can come stay at my base like we talked about. Thank you, but I've lived in this cave for centuries. I will rebuild it. 
I thanked the elder lizard again and started making my way home. It was time to reclaim my village. I finally made it home and saw my friends all locked up in cages. Ugh, it's time to make the alpha raptor pay. Just then, the alpha raptor stepped out into the open. So you've got strong, Ray. How cute. Let's see just how strong you are. As he said this, the crocodile stepped out from behind one of the buildings. We meet again, lizard. It's time I'll finally finish you off once and for all. You won't win this time, crocodile. I leaped forward, swiping at him with my sword. But the crocodile was quick to dodge, jumping out of the way. He retaliated with a barrage of sharp claws. But I managed to evade them by jumping back. Looks like you're stronger than before. But that won't change a thing, lizard. The crocodile charged up another strike, knocking me back. But I countered with a blast of fire. This time, he couldn't dodge it, and he was hit directly. He was in trouble now, and I knew it. I charged forward and hit the crocodile with one last burst of fire, taking him out for good. What? How dare you? Whatever. I don't need your dumb village. Soon, I'll have an army thanks to the reptile wars. And then, I'll tear your stupid village to the ground. As the alpha raptor left, I rushed to free my friends. You did it, Silio. We all believed in you. You. Thanks guys. Together, we'll make the Alpha Raptor pay. On days 87 through 91, I decided I couldn't leave my base open for any more attacks. I got to work building fences around my base. I surrounded the whole village with fences and made sure to reinforce them with cacti to make sure intruders would stay away. This should keep the base protected while I'm gone. My base felt a lot safer now, but I still had work left. I built a mine shaft at the edge of our village and placed railroads all the way down. Once that was done, I spent the rest of the day mining as many diamonds as I could find. Before ending the day, I crafted myself a complete set of diamond armor. The Alpha Raptor doesn't stand a chance. On days 92 through 94, I got right to work, finishing up my statue. It was coming together really well, and I felt super proud of it. I finally put the last blocks in place and admired the statue from our village. It reminded me of my family that had died to protect me. Just then, my family appeared right in front of me as spirits. Guys, am I dreaming? You've come so far, Silio. We're so proud of you. I've done everything I can, but I just don't know if I'm strong enough to defeat the Alpha Raptor. The Alpha Raptor is strong indeed, but he is not immortal. The scales are tough, but if you can penetrate them and poison him, you may just stand a chance. I'll do my best for all of you. Before I knew it, my parents vanished, but they gave me the hope that I could defeat the Alpha Raptor that I needed. I said goodbye to all my friends and then left to find the Alpha Raptor. It was time to end his evil reign. On days 95 through 99, I had traveled for a long time until finally I made it to the Alpha Raptor's fortress. It was absolutely massive, and unfortunately, it was guarded by a massive T Rex. How on earth did he get a hold of one of those? I snuck up to the castle trying to get past the T-Rex unnoticed. But just as I was about to make it past him, an alarm went off and the T-Rex turned to face me. You dare trespass by the left of the Alpha Raptor. Prepare to die. Before I could react, the T-Rex charged at me. It was reptile against reptile. Using my fire breathing ability, I dealt some good damage, but the T-Rex countered with an equally strong crunch. The T-Rex was incredibly strong, and I had to be careful not to take too much damage. I slashed at him with my claws and used my fire breath to light him on fire. After a fierce battle, I finally took the T-Rex out. You're next, Raptor. On day 100, I made it into the Alpha Raptor's castle. He was sitting on a big throne across the room, like he had been waiting for me. So you finally made it, little lizard. You've certainly been causing me some trouble, but you ain't gonna be causing me nothing no more once I'm through with you. I'm not afraid of you, Alpha Raptor. You'll finally pay for everything you've done. <laughs> You actually still think you can defeat me. Thanks to the Reptile Wars, nobody is strong enough to stand up to me. No one will get in my way. Not even you. With that, we launched into an epic final battle. The Alpha Raptor was a formidable opponent. We traded blows back and forth. The fight could have gone either way. This is for my family and everyone you've hurt. With each passing moment, I got stronger and more determined to win. The Alpha Raptor tried to knock me back with everything he had, but I didn't let it phase me. Just then, the Alpha Raptor caught me off guard, knocking me back into a wall and leaving me on super low health. As the Raptor was about to deal the final blow, I remembered what my parents told me about his weakness. I saw a spot on his body not covered in scales. I took my chance and lunged forward, landing a venomous hit. With the Alpha Raptor poisoned and weak, I unleashed all of my remaining power onto him, delivering the final blow, finishing him off once and for all. Finally, the war was over and reptiles could live in peace once more.